Hi, um, welcome to a new ROS question and answering. Today we are going to start with a video that is the first of a series. We are going to be talking about how to program the Sony Ivo robot using ROS because as you probably know recently Sony has decided to continue this Ivo robot dock with the new version that you can see here on the picture and then we decided that it would be interesting to program this robot with ROS. Uh, however, we are going to use the, the previous version of the iBot, that is this one. In this uh, video series, we are going to use the simulation and also the real robot. So stay tuned to those videos in order to see how you can program your iBot robot with ROS. Okay, so starting, let's go for the basics, very basics. So for this, we go directly to the ROS Development Studio that you can open at rds.theconstructsim.com. You can find this link beneath the video description. So once you are there, you should start a new project. I already started in order to go faster. And uh, then I'm going to launch the simulation of Ivo here that is already provided. It's a gazebo simulation. So if you click here, it will start. It's a, a simulation that uh, has been created using the URDF. And that you can see here the file of the URDF. It contains the different links and joins and also the controllers. We have, we'll be talking more about this simulation in future videos. Now it's just a starting video. And here it is the simulation in an environment that we have created. And we have here the Ivo robot simulation. Great. So there it is. And uh, these controllers are controlled by F4 joint controllers. And they are configured here in the YAM for controllers, of course, and each joint has a different controllers. For the PID, we have set some typical values. Uh, another day, we'll talk about the PIDs and how to tune them. But basically, they are FO controllers that receive joint positions. So the joints are controlled by position. Okay, let's go. So because we have done this uh, configuration of the you are the F of the robot, you know that we have here, we have um, the different topics. Let me just change the configuration of this so we can see if it's easier. If I do a ROS topic list here, we can see that there is one command topic per each joint that contains that uh, contains a robot, basically. So this is for the leg, left, front, joint number two and this is the command topic to which we should publish a value it's a float 64 float value that is the position in radians for the joint so uh, we can do a very simple program that command sends publishes into those topics one per each leg and per each joint of the legs so we can make the robot move as you can see here, the robot per each leg has three different joints. One is here, another one is here, and another one is here. So here there are two, the one that rotates in this direction, and here there is another one that is the one that opens the in this direction, like this. It opens like this, and then the third is here. So for each leg, we have the following convention, leg left back number two so that would be on the left on the other side back number two if this is one then that would be that other one the number two okay so we have a topic per each one of those joints including the head including the tail including the mouth so you can control with this model all the joints of the robot then what we have done is a very simple program it's a Python program, very simple, that what it does is first, it subscribes to each one of the different joint topics. So one topic, another topic for the left uh, back number two, etc. etc. Then subscribes to this is for the left side of the of the robot, then for the right side, for the head, 
and the tail we have uh, missed the tail in this example don't worry and then what it does is it has a publisher that the publisher receives a post that the post is in this case is a dictionary which contains number of the joint and value for that joint let me show you an example here so we have created two small dictionaries one for post one and one for post two and then uh, it is is the structure of this dictionary in python first we have the number of the join and then its value in radians as a float number and that's simple it so we can create poses into the robot by just generating the proper values for each one of the of the different joints and our system is uh, strong enough so you can for example, in the post number two, you can avoid providing jo joint values for the mouth, for the ear. In this case, we only provided for the head and the legs, and then we forgot about the other ones. So the the publishing routine will just take into care the ones that are have been specified. Okay, so uh, how does it work? Uh, very simple. We have created those two poses here and we are going to send first one pose pose one we are going to publish this pose and then we'll switch and we'll change to the second pose so you can see in that uh, uh, in that window here how the robot transitions from one pose to the other and it's going to transition forever that's a simple example to see you how you can uh, send commands to the joints of the simulation robot in future videos we'll see how we can make the robot work okay so let's start that then let's run the program so the future it's the uh, the package is called walking able because in the future we'll make the robot move uh, walking okay and this is just a test so let's go and then by pressing there then the robot Ivo should move after oh uh, yeah we have a delay of five seconds so now it should start set post post send and there it is so yeah so it has been a delay in the transition but you can see here it's the first pose and then here the second pose so there is a small delay in the representation in the graphical window but basically so it's transitioning from one position to the other one position and then to the other okay here we have changing from one position to the other changing from one position to the other one two one two I say endlessly uh, as you can see the robot is not touching the ground because in order to do those tests we have um, we have provided uh, to, to the robot with a pole that is invisible pole here that is suspending the robot on top why is that because if we don't do those tests in this situation then the robot will fall down then it will be very very difficult you can see that there is a base here also that is supporting that pole and standing the robot on top so basically that's the video and uh, stay tuned for the future ones that will show you how to use this code into the uh, real robot how to make the robot work and how we have uh, created this urdf actually it's, it was created by some people of this team and some uh, people at the university so i'll give you all the details in future videos so thank you very much for attending and see you in the next video uh, just one thing uh, remember to subscribe to our channel if you like this kind of videos and press the bell so you will be notified every time that we publish a new video so that's all cheers